Weak signals as a topic began with Ansoff's famous CMR article in 1975. This new article builds on this literature by pushing the contours of weak signal management further. Considering the growing rate at which discontinuities appear, organizations increasingly believe that early detection and action on weak external signals is critical for strategic agility. Schumacher and Day's model consisting of three stages, scanning, sense-making, and probing and acting, is one popular way to manage weak signals. The sense-making stage involves the amplification of identified weak signals, and it remains an Achilles heel for organizations. This is due to the largely cognitive-based approach to amplification strategies. While many organizations scan for weak signals, most dismiss them as anomalies due to poor amplification strategies. This article analyzes 139 proof-of-concept projects with startups and 15 interviews with executives involved in the projects at a leading German mobility corporation. It provides four specific actionable approaches to amplify weak signals, thereby enhancing organizational hyper-awareness. They are embody actions that bring the weak signal closer to the existing knowledge base, extend actions that increase weak signal intensity, examine actions that move the organization closer to the source of the weak signal, and elucidate actions that lead to recalibrated scanning. Examples and their practical implications illustrate these actions for both weak signals and strategic agility management. Shifting from a cognitive to an action focus on amplification contributes to the weak signal management literature and provides direction for practitioners on how to improve their sense-making of weak signals. Improved amplification can help enhance the quality of organizational responses to discontinuities, reduce strategic surprises, and enable organizations to stay nimble and alert to uncertainties. To learn more, read Building Hyper-Awareness, How to Amplify Weak External Signals for Improved Strategic Agility in California Management Review, Volume 65, Issue 4.